It is a bittersweet time as we close out the year at 2822 News. Two members of the team with more than 80 years combined experience are retiring from the television industry. 2822's Mark Hiller looks back on the careers of both men who have been fixtures at WBRE and WYOU. Now, do you want the 28 or the 22? Oh, well, that's a tough question. Dave Becker and Bob Bradley could make their work seem like a piece of cake. More than eight decades of combined experience can fool a person that way. But to get so good at their jobs did not just happen overnight. Bradley began acquiring his experience inside this building in 1979 as a master control operator and newscast director. This is Eyewitness News with anchor Keith Martin. He already had several years under his belt by 1985 when Sandy Visneski first began working with him. Guy's got long hair, he's standing behind the switcher, he's smoking, he's drinking a can of Coke, and he's got no shoes on. Quite a first impression, but Bradley would go on to impress in many other ways, rising to the head of WBRE WYOU's commercial department. The man, the myth, the legend, you know, he taught us everything we know. Becky Stitzer worked closely with Bradley beginning in the 1990s. He's just one of these people that knows everything, and you can rely on him for any live event, the telethons, the parades, um, every commercial. You even hear his voice on TV. He would voice his own commercials. We've relied on him for everything. We ask his opinion, his advice, and it, I don't know what I'm going to do without him. It's not just co-workers he impressed. Jack Wise took his customer decorating business commercial needs to Bradley for the past quarter century. Just his knowledge. You know, he, he goes to different seminars and uh, he's, he always uh, comes back with something new. He's excellent at directing, producing, writing, editing, shooting does it all. Of all the things Bradley has done, it's creating commercials he enjoyed the most. Some of it's objective, but a lot of it is subjective and when you can really put your own twist on something. Dave Becker shifted his broadcasting career from radio to television news in 1986. The path to newscast producer took him from TV news assignment editor and production assistant to even sideline reporter. Now, if the Crusaders have any chance of winning this one, their defense has to knuckle down in the second half to win this conference game. As his news writing and producing career evolved, so too did technology. Clunky typewriters and color printed scripts gave way to keyboards and digital copy. Uh, we had to tape the scripts together and run them through a prompter by hand. Um, now everything is uh, obviously is computerized. It's everything is much faster, uh, which uh, makes it a lot better. I mean, we're able to pump things out much more quickly now. Becker produced newscasts which included some of the biggest stories of the day, including the 1995 Oklahoma City bombing, the 9-11 terror attacks, and the 2011 Wyoming Valley flood evacuation. We do shine in those moments. Even though they're difficult and it's a struggle, um, we put on our, our, our best face and, and and make sure that everyone's informed and needs to know what they need to know. Jane Ann Bugda has worked alongside Becker during his 37 plus years in the newsroom. Sometimes we'll think back for something and we'll start laughing because we'll remember something from, you know, the late 80s, the 90s, 2000. She credits his calming personality with helping make the newsroom a pleasant place to work. He has a lot of patience and he's very intelligent. And the other thing is Dave, Dave has a great sense of humor. As Becker gives way to the next generation of news producers, he offers one bit of advice, stick with it. It's hard at some times, uh, but it's also can be very satisfying. And uh, you meet a lot of great people. And I've been fortunate and uh, blessed to have met some wonderful people since I've been here. Yes, it's the end of an era at Northeastern Pennsylvania's longest running television station. I'm really going to miss you, Bob. Take care. Have a great retirement. Congratulations to both of you guys. It was my honor working with both of you for a long time. Thank you. So long, Dave and Bob. Thank you. No, thank you. It won't be the same without you. Mark Hiller, 2822 News. And we wish Dave and Bob a long and healthy retirement. Thank you for all of your work and all the memories.